What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a progressive specialist playing risk global domination on PC, currently ranked 38th on the global leaderboard. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. Uh, Fridays are the uh, fixed game. We do fixed Fridays. Wednesdays is the podcast style interview show, waiting on your best behavior. And every other day is whatever I feel like. Today we are playing a six-player progressive game on Pangaea, my favorite map. Um, I open this public lobby up to whomever wants to come in, and we're going to see how it plays out with five human opponents. First act, 424 hours with 252 wins and 633 losses. We've, we have Dr. MF16 playing white. They look like they have a centralized position. We got a good luck. There you go. Good luck. I'll give you a good luck too, happily. Looks like they have a good centralized position. They also have this occupation off to the side. I like those two positions. If I was white, I'd be very happy with that. In the second position, we have Castellatico. Flying the flag of Spain. Uh, 16 hours in the game, 3 and 15. Let's watch out for Orange. They are a new player. They might behave unpredictably. They, they more likely will gun for continents. They more likely will attack a lot. In the third position, we have General Sawada 5680 flying the flag of Puerto Rico. Um, their record looks like 71 hours with 7 wins and 6 losses. They are a um, low-ranked beginner, but not a true beginner because they've played 71 hours. So this player is bad. Also, you should watch out for players like that. They might get angry and suicide into you. In the fourth position, Magenta flying the flag of Canada. General the Rotten. 56, 82, 77 hours with 28 and 117. Also a bad record, but not as bad. So we have... So far, the best player, yeah, by far, is white. This guy is probably an expert, maybe a master. And we have a novice and two beginners. I'm in the fifth position. Magenta pops out there. Oh, Magenta rolls a seven on four right off the bat. Okay, so that's not a... So seven on four is not 100%. Magenta is a dangerous, crazy person. Avoid. Okay, let me just get a sense of what green is doing. Flying the flag of Malaysia. Henrietta the Tyrant. Um, they have 232. They have a great record. Okay, so these, this guy's a master or, or maybe a grandmaster. Okay. Watch out for green. They're good. Watch out for white. They're good. Watch out for the other three because they might do things that will make you dead. I want to consolidate these positions, these positions, and these positions. I can't do all of that at once. So what I do in this case is I add to most of my stacks with a cut through here. So what I would prefer is to be closer to the end, but it looks like white and magenta are fighting over that end, so I'll take one of the spots in the top middle because they help you cut across the top of Pangaea. Okay, green gets an easy take on me. And they gravitate their entire stack into the center of the board. I like green's game, but green will need an exclave. Okay, white has bought it out. We now have an AI. That will change things a lot. So I'm trying to predict what my opponents are going to do, and the better I can predict what they want, the better I can put myself in a position to win this game. So my job is to try and use the psychology of the players, figure out what they want, where they're going, and understand how to manipulate that to my advantage. 
And if I'm able to do that successfully, I'm more likely to win the game. Orange is playing well. It looks like they're trying to go for a Europe strategy, uh, conquer this Europe continent plus six over the next couple turns. That might work. This is bad for me. All I want is to get this two out of there. Sure, that will work. Do I cut through there or do I cut through there to not piss off blue? Probably here. I actually think this might be the place to hide because there's nobody in the North America. North America is worth plus five. Normally you would figure somebody would be in here, but nobody's there yet. It's all unoccupied space. I look for the stretches of ones, empty space in the board, to try and occupy it because that is the best way to be out of everyone's way. I want to be as inoffensive as possible. I'm an ambush predator, so I want to wait and kill in one in one shot. The trick to progressive is killing a player and getting their cards. The board doesn't matter as much as the cards. So progressive is all about timing. It's all about uh, being in position to make your kill. I think this was the move. Get out of blue's way. Don't offend blue in South America. We can be good neighbors as they see that I'm moving away from them. I'm not offending uh, orange. Orange wants Europe. I'll let the bot fight with blue there. Magenta has taken a continent. Normally, what you see in Pangaea is there's a two for two and a three for uh, three for two continent in Oceania and Antarctica. At this end, I call it the jackpot. This is where humans and bots like to fight with each other at this end of the board. I'm going to want to get the hell out of there as quickly as possible. So that's my next ad. I put two troops there and I cut in one. Where does my remaining troop go? I have four positions. This will at least um, take the pressure off me from Magenta, and hopefully Magenta goes for that second continent, buying me time to get these troops out of there as well. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to preserve my value while it exists in a way that is um, the least offensive way possible. Okay, unexpectedly, Orange puts down there. Orange would like that con, and I can do that too. I can cut this way. Let Orange and Blue fight over this end of the board. I'll have a central position. I, I predict Blue will either take that single or start working on White a little bit on their next turn. Now I'm going to start playing the prediction game. Can I read these guys' minds? Oh, Orange isn't giving me a great place to go. So if I go there, I might appear to be threatening. If I go there, I think it's actually safer for me to go backwards, cut into either this territory or that one. Yep, yeah, Blue's going to con continue consolidating in Brazil. Yeah, it's okay. So I cut this way. This way is the lane of least resistance for that position. Fine. Okay, Magenta puts in five stack. I hope they conquer and try to conquer this, which might give me time to get these troops out of there. Cool. So far I haven't pissed anyone off, and I won't. I'll try my best not to. Until it's too late for them. That's the trick. Gotta kill Pete before he kills you. This is the kill Pete strategy. Just going over the basic fundamentals in this video. Uh, Pangea is my favorite map. These are... Um, common settings that I would use. Normally if I was playing this ranked, I'd put in a bot or two, but we have a bot now. I'm going to take two takes. I'm going to take this one to take the pressure off me from both of those directions, and this one to take the pressure off me from Magenta. Magenta didn't finish this corner yet, so I'm in no terrible rush to get these troops out of there, but I will be consolidating into a three position game. So I'll have one, two, and three as quickly as possible, as opposed to the four-ish that I'm at now. I'm also fifth of sixth in the matching sequence, which is fine by me. You get the extra two troops when you start your turn, being fifth, and you get the 12, assuming that the matching happens normally. Progressive match goes four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, 10, 12, 15, and bots like to put in early, so uh, the 
the white bot already put in the first match. White will be contesting orange for Europe. I predict orange gets a take either in Europe, probably on this uh, blue territory would be where I would go. They want to fight. They want to fight the bot. They're trying to take Europe. Okay. Good luck with that. Who's going to get a single take out of Brazil again? Or are they going to open up a second position? Blue's the worst player, right? As far as record goes. A lot of hours, but not so many wins. <coughs> that always makes me scared. Because players like that can be the least predictable. Magenta does finish that continent now, and they're not going to be contested. I can move into this position, but that doesn't really move me far away from them. I'm going to add to these two. I'm going to just spend out this five, because it's going to get eaten. Put two up there, put one down here, and get my take on green. Still try to preserve these, maybe move into those two if they survive. Okay, green has a strong central position. They have a slightly second one off to the side. Where do they go? Here? Mid. Yeah, they still have this, but it, someone's going to start occupying this space, and then it's all gone. The porcelain bot will put in... Okay, what type of bot are we dealing with? I can keep moving that way with this stack. Yeah, I'm in an o I'm in okay shape still. I'm in okay positioning. Orange matches early. Another tell for bad play. Don't match early. If you don't have anything to gain from it, usually you want to spend your cards to get kills, if at all possible. They're doing it now early for what? Board position? They're going to pop white six or something. Yeah, I don't think they know. don't think they've thought this far ahead. They're, they're just trying things and see, see what works. Okay, the nine's going to hit the six. It's going to lose bad. Maybe wins the fight, but there isn't going to be much left. Seven's going to hit the one. Five's going to hit that way. Oh, he isn't going to take it even. Okay. Setting himself up to do it over multiple turns. Hmm. Okay. Yep, blue player pops another single out of Brazil. Move back. No, interesting. They're going to let the bot conquer South America. Magenta's in great position, so I have to get the hell away from Magenta. If nobody's going to contest them on this end of the board, they're going to get strong and they're going to get overconfident. So part of me surviving will be avoiding Magenta, thinking they can kill me, and either being able to do it or thinking they can and failing. Good for Magenta for putting troops there. 
at the other end of the board. Smart. And they're playing it cautious and slow, too. Good. This is a good opponent. Better than their record would suggest. So do I try and cut around the, through the two? I think that's the only way that makes sense, that I don't just lose both of those positions. Okay, at least I didn't lose any troops. Now I have three positions instead of two, and I've evacuated from where I was originally. Still not out of the way, though. This is still too offensive and too close to Magenta for them to be satisfied. I'm going to have to move that further away, if at all possible, as soon as possible. We're now at the fifth turn. Green failed to get a take, so they have to do it here. So someone's going to want to remove green out of this side of the board now. Okay, this would be the turn where we would be forced to match, but uh, white and orange have done it already, which means blue gets the 8, which means magenta gets the 10, which means I get the 12. I'm not going to be able to make a kill on my turn. I probably don't want to yet. It would cost me more to make a kill than I would get in value from the cards. The right time to start making kills usually is on the 7th or 8th turn, not the 6th. Progressive games don't tend to last much longer than like the 10th turn. Orange is now finally going to take Europe, which will trigger the bot to break. Oh, they don't finish. They don't finish. Look at that. Orange is playing better than their record would suggest as well. Okay. So blue is pretty much down to a single position. They match and get the eight. Does it all go there? This is why blue loses games. They're all in on one position strategy. And they're fighting the bot. Now they're putting themselves in the bot's way inside of a bot continent. And either they piss off magenta, they're taking the continent right. So uh, I turn off alliances usually, because one of the things that kills me, in addition to not having a match on four in the late game, is my opponents getting up on me. Okay, so blue, this is also why blue loses games. Uh, blue just pissed off someone with cards by invading their continent. Duh, what do you think Magenta's gonna do? It's gonna put it all here and pop blue stack. Blue is now the fish. So, identifying the fish is a key moment in a progressive game. Can I kill blue and get their three cards? Yeah, I probably can. Because they've set themselves up now super weak, right? They only have eleven ter they have only have eleven troops left in ten territories. Put all my troops on this stack. I think I can kill him. I think it's worth it for me to do so because my match is already twelve. Okay, so four on one is now hundred percent thanks to balance splits. I'm gonna have to get a little lucky. I think. Let's see if I can do it. I think I got it. And I think I have a straight line path to get those three cards and match again. Where do I go after I have that match? <laughs> Nobody else is the fish. So I don't actually have to do anything. I can put this match in, remain as inoffensive as possible. Problem is, everyone just saw me make a kill, which isn't ideal, because now they know what I'm up to. Now they know I'm an ambush predator. <laughs> I'm not going to piss off magenta if I can avoid it. So I'm going to move this stack away from magenta's border and away from everyone as far away as possible. We've made a kill. We found a fish. Blue pissed off magenta, got immediately clapped, and I capitalized on my positioning and my, and my uh, moment in the turn order. Green matches last, now gets the 20. Match point is now 25. I don't have a match on three. Let's see if green antagonizes magenta as well.
No. Green tries to take South America. Now I start looking at white. Can white be the fish? That position, the six stack here makes it tough. They won't match it on three. It's more likely than not that they don't have a match. Okay, so they got lucky. The bot got lucky. We have a 19 stack. Bot has no cards. Match point is 30. We have a strong bot with no cards in multiple positions. That's interesting, and that's good for me. A little bit unpredictable. It's going to break everyone's continents. It's going to fuck around, cause trouble. I like it. I'm down with a little bit of trouble at this point in the game. Okay, wow, everyone's got lucky cards. Orange gets a match on three, gets the 30. Match point is now 35. I won't have a match on my turn. I'm going to have to get an easy take without pissing off anyone. I think the answer is here. Unless Magenta stops me. And that will put Orange in a single contiguous central position. You don't want to be in a single position because it makes you um, able to be eaten easily by someone with just a little bit more size. I'm going to dance around Orange now. But because Orange is now going for a continent in the late game in Progressive, that's a big tell as far as how their skill level goes, what they think it matters at this moment, what they think is important, what they want. I'm not going to offend this person. I'm not going to upset them. I'm not going to try and break their continent. Because it doesn't matter. The cards matter. Everyone has matches on three. Magenta matches in, gets the 35. The match point is now 40. This is where it starts to get dangerous for me. Because the matches are so large, and everyone got them early that I'm, I end up being the player holding the most cards. And that's when you have to worry about being the fish yourself. So what I'm trying to do now in my head is I'm trying to line up who the next kill for me could be and predict where everyone's going to go. Magenta's going to expand out of their corner and abut green, and then there's going to be a war. I think the next player I kill is white, most likely. So what I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to add to this 10 stack and put it in the corner. Which seems to me to be the least offensive play possible, given the circumstances. I'll move my 3 that's next to Magenta all the way into my 25 stack. So we have a 15 stack position in the top left corner, as far out of the way as possible. We have a 27 in the deep middle, and we have a bunch of this... Um, midboard that is going to be lost as magenta expands into green and they have an inevitable war. I sure hope I got a match on four. Okay, I do. Match point is 40. Green's going to be holding four cards. If I can eat green, then I match again. Okay, is that possible? Hmm. So it's close, right? I put in the 40. I have to kill green on my turn. Can I use this 15 to do it? Yeah, probably. Okay. Does that help my path? I need I need these two to be open so I can kill them from one point, basically. All right, orange holds Europe. I'm trying to figure out a way to kill green. Pretty sure I just have to go for it on my turn. When I kill them, I'll match again. So I match on my turn, get the plus 40, and then I'll kill green, I'll match again, I'll get the plus 45. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Magenta might help, they won't help me at all. They're playing pretty cautiously too. So green is the next fish. It's a bit of a complicated kill to make. Because I have to do it in three positions. I'm going to cut through here with my stack to get those three. I'm going to cut up here with that. And I'm going to cut through here with the troops I add. And that should be enough. I think I leave this up here. I don't fuck with it.
All right, let's get ready. All right, make this kill for the people. I fucked up. Can I go the other way? Maybe. I did my split bad. Okay, so. Ooh, that's so damn close. Why did I fuck this up, guys? Where are we at? 25? No, I lose. Damn it. So now, how do I not lose this game? Yeah, and Greed's gonna punch me really hard because they're pissed off that I hit them. <laughs> As they should. So Green's weak. I'm weak. I don't have a strong uh, position. I don't have a strong single stack like they do. I'm not licked yet. Let's see. Let's see if you can recover from making a mistake of that magnitude. If I'm able to win this game from this position, I will be very impressed with myself. I should lose this game. Uh, saving graces for me is that magenta and orange are playing it like it's fixed. Concerned with their board position mostly and playing it conservatively and slowly. Guarding. That allows me to maneuver around them. And there's a bot, which also behaves predictably in a different way. But I did just piss off green. And if I was green, I'd kill Pete. So... Let's see if they try it. I want to be in a bunch of different places. So it's harder for them to kill me. I think I put my stack there. Also set myself up for a kill on white. Maybe I get cards on, on three. Let's see. I do. I have a match on three. Match point is 50. We're not licked yet, but it's close. He's going to punch, 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 punch. No. They're going to, they're going to take the stack, though. No. Okay. If white matches in, I get the 55. Assuming nobody else matches in. I get the 55. Okay. Yep. Surprised white isn't the white bot isn't breaking um, orange's continent, but that's fine. Cool. Orange gets the plus nine. Yep. I think I eat green on uh, on my turn now easily. Unless I get really bad dice or something. 
and then I should totally just lose, right? If I can't, if I can't win, uh, match point is fifty-five. Yeah, if I can't win like sixty-five on fifty-five, then I should lose. Orange is gonna make it slightly easier for me. Sounds good. Maybe magenta makes it slightly easier for me. Hit their big stack first, get that out of the way so you can expand out. I'll only have three cards, so I won't be able to match in turn. I will be vulnerable for that turn, but then I'll likely match again. Yeah, magenta is playing it too cautious. So that's fine. I can pivot around orange and magenta. I can I can maybe win this game through that fuck up. Which would be pretty cool to see. This is why we do it for for y'all, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. It's why we screw up games so we can fix them. get three cards. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. I'm still not offending either of the other two players, which I really wanted to avoid doing if at all possible. I have two strong positions. Neither Magenta nor Orange have shown their desire to attack quickly or decisively. I've made all the kills in this game so far. Somehow I'm not dead. There's a bot. I have a match on four. Feeling pretty good. If Orange puts in a match now, it's, they get the 60. If they don't, match point will be to me. They'll be holding five cards. Okay, they match and they get the 60, which means I would get the 65. Maybe Magenta puts in, which means I get the 70. Okay, Orange is setting up to do something big. Let's see if they do, though. Oh, they do. Okay, so they're wasting troops on the bot. Great. Great. Piss away your troops on the bot. Maybe they make the kill. They won't match in turn. They just made the bot so much weaker and easier to kill for me. Bot's now down to 50 troops. Two cards. Magenta matches and gets the 65, which means I get the 70. Unless Magenta kills me right now, or they kill the bot. Let's see it. Okay, they're, they're going to hit me. Cool. Let's see it. They're going to slow roll. Interesting. That doesn't make any sense, and you don't have time to do that. Yeah, and now what? They're going to take this side of the board. Are they going to have time to kill all of the bot? Yes. When they do so, they won't match in turn. So I'll be next to match. If they don't, I eat the bot anyways. Oh, and they piss off orange. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let my opponents punch each other. Down with that. I kill the bot on my turn. And I survive again. Somehow. I can't believe I'm not dead. I think it, the, the win here stems from my opponent's fundamental misunderstanding of the type of risk they're playing. What matters in progressive is totally different than what matters in fixed. And being able to make kills and positioning, I'm not offending orange. Just dancing around them. Let's see. Let's see who comes at me now. I'm next to match again, we assume don't have a match on four okay if in this moment if both of my opponents magically agree to hit me i'm in trouble but there are no alliances on so we'll see i almost wanted to taunt them with an emoji but i figured that might encourage them to yeah and i didn't break right so i didn't piss off orange i don't have a match on four but i will have a match on five i don't break orange so 
if you are tempted in this moment to say orange seems weak, why piss them off to, to break the plus six when you might face the wrath of their full match, which is now what? Plus 75? Good neighbor theory. Let your opponents fight with each other. You always be the good neighbor, always default to being the good neighbor if at all possible. Wait until the last moment to offend anyone. The last moment that they're still alive, ideally. Gotta kill Pete, or he'll kill you. And that's the name of the show, ladies and gentlemen. for the least offensive play possible. Let Orange have its position. Let Orange fight with Magenta. I have the next match. As long as I don't get eaten, we're all about the same size. Maybe one of these guys gets lucky, gets a uh, match on three. Match point is 75. Who can I eat? I'm hungry. But you want to, at this stage, you don't want to imbalance the board. But right? I'm still mostly equal to my opponents. Okay. Magenta pissed off Orange. Cool. Magenta's the fish. If they don't match on their turn, I eat them, and I win the game that way. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. No match on three, you're dead. Now we'll do the emote. Good game. Magenta helped me kill white. Magenta helped or uh, orange helped me kill white. Orange helped me kill magenta. And they didn't even know they were doing it. And we got it. And we left our army open to strike into orange. they can come back from that one territory. Should have just killed them this turn. Give them a fighting chance on four. Alright. They got one territory. They probably have a match. Let's do it. And that's the game. No match. I'm surprised I won. Sometimes I even impress myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it in terms of psychology, in terms of uh, game fundamentals for progressive. Um, this is what I'm working on currently. I'm always interested in getting better at the game. So I'm passionate about improvement. I'm passionate about sharing this journey with you. If you're interested in getting better yourself, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have a daily release schedule. Fridays is Fixed Fridays. We do Fixed instead of Progressive. Uh, Wednesdays is the podcast style interview show. And every other day is whatever I feel like. Come check me out on Twitch. I, I will do live streams. And I'm also going to be using YouTube more for um, tutorial style instructional videos. Um, I hope you enjoy. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.